This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. Dementia is so difficult to diagnose at any stage of its development in large part because it's not very well understood. The brain can be quite mysterious, but near-IR spectroscopy could hold the key to figuring more of it out. A group of UK-based researchers from the University of Cambridge, University College London, and the University of Sheffield is using the technique for imaging parts of the brain, such as the frontal lobe, where the working memory is, to view motor functions during a person's natural movements as well as oxygenated blood, which flows more in the active areas. The team is using a device called LUMO, a wearable, portable, high-density, functional near-IR imaging technology developed by optical neuroimaging R&D company Gower Labs. It looks similar to a swimming cap and is equipped with modular tiles with near-infrared light sources and detectors built in. Although still in its early stages, the study has already shown that higher density near IR spectroscopy arrays are significantly more sensitive to brain atrophy than traditional methods. The researchers say the technique could aid earlier diagnosis of dementia and may someday go hand in hand with treatment. Economically motivated food adulteration or food fraud in which manufacturers replace authentic ingredients with those that are cheaper is not only deceptive, it's dangerous. It's become a major concern worldwide, and one researchers at Purdue University are working to fight. Using laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, or LIBS, the team has been able to authenticate different food samples by determining the chemical structure and atomic composition. Their study focused on agricultural commodities including coffee, vanilla extracts, and European alpine-style cheeses like Gruyere. LIBS differentiated real vanilla extract from imitation vanilla flavoring, for example, with 99% accuracy. The technique also touted 90% accuracy in identifying authentic Gruyere versus a similar style cheese product. LIBS is more effective than other approaches, the researchers say, as it requires minimal to no sample preparation, offers real-time results, and can analyze different elements simultaneously. It's also accurate enough to determine specific ingredients used, how the food is prepared, and even its point of origin. The team's work could ultimately thwart deceptive practices by supporting the development and enforcement of food safety standards and regulations. Motivated by measuring various aspects of Earth's atmosphere, a team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab has cracked the code for obtaining advanced data and more of it, 20 times more to be precise. They've developed space-based imaging spectrometers that are cheaper than conventional systems, smaller at just one-tenth of the size and mass, lighter, and flaunt extremely high spatial resolution, all while delivering the same measurement capabilities. There are two versions of the technology, one designed for the near-infrared and another for long-range infrared. The near-infrared imaging spectrometer design spans a 2,302 to 2,370 nanometer spectral range with 2,048 spectral pixels and 512 spatial pixels. The long wave version covers the 8 to 12 micron range with 1,536 spectral pixels and 256 spatial pixels. The technology's optical design supports wide fields of view, allowing the team to measure, for example, the entire planet more frequently with a single instrument. It could benefit other applications as well, the researchers say, including pharmacology, food safety, and forensic analysis of geologic trace evidence. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time.